pre-pandemic, you know, for the last two decades, Asia Pacific has been viewed as the engine for growth in travel globally. And I'm confident that will return again. And if we think about the dynamic that's unfolded over the last year or so, you know, many markets have honed a domestic travel market. Um, they've identified new source markets, you know, in the absence of China and North Asia. And so they've learned to market to new customer segments from different source markets. Um, now overlay that with North Asia coming online and it'll boom. Now I want to talk about pent up demand. This has been the big driver, especially amongst leisure travelers for worldwide. But we're now starting to see this soften in places uh, like the United States. Are you seeing any indications of this here in Asia Pacific? Uh, well, for now, during this period, we're talking about pent up demand and the, you know, in some cases we're seeing business class flights that are two to five times what they were pre-pandemic. But the pent up demand is still there to fuel the growth. So we're seeing front of the plane really driving their property for some markets um, and some carriers. Now, the, the question is, when is that going to transition and, and lose, lose steam? You know, because there are a lot of travelers that are, are pending pending their travel to wait for prices to come down again. And so, you know, when does, it, when does travel then transition from being a, um, a privilege to more of a, an accessible commodity that it was pre-pandemic? Okay, I have one final question for you, and it has to do with jobs. The WTTC also is estimating that 126 million new jobs will come into tourism in the next decade, 65% right here in Asia. Can the region rise to meet that level of demand quickly? Well, absolutely. This, is, this has been an amazing uh, element of travel in Asia Pacific. It's been this engine for poverty alleviation and jobs creation. I think our job now for, as an industry globally is how do we make it attractive again? Because we're competing with, you know, attracting people back and reassuring them that, you know, that their jobs will be stable. We're also luring them back from um, jobs where they could have worked from home. And so, you know, that's part of my mantra to the industry is we need to celebrate great service. We need to create, create great workplaces and great work cultures. And that'll bring people back to the industry. Thank you so much.